Today we're going to talk about a pattern failure on 2004 to 2007 Dodge pickups with a 5.9 Cummins turbo diesel. Specifically the 325 horsepower engine. The piston and injector design was changed in these engines, most likely for emissions, but it has resulted in some pretty catastrophic failures as well. What we're finding is a loss of compression in one cylinder and uh, it's very common to be cylinder one or six. Uh, it can be any other cylinder in the engine as well but uh, as you can see this piston is missing the upper compression ring. It's totally disintegrated. Actually parts of it are lodged in the top of the piston. This would have gouged the cylinder wall pretty good and uh, left this cylinder with very low compression. Through bench testing the injectors, we found a direct correlation between an overfueling injector and the type of piston damage I just showed you. The reason for a premature injector failure and overfueling can be traced back to the original design of the truck and the inadequate 7 micron filter installed from the factory. Bosch common rail fuel systems should be equipped with a 3 or less micron filtration system. Without proper filtration we've seen these trucks fail as early as 100,000 kilometers. And today we have a truck in that has a complaint of a rough idle on initial startup. So we're going to hook up to it and see what we can find. Next we're going to perform a relative compression test on the engine. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure anyone can uh, pick that out, that there's something not right in the engine. This is the results from the relative compression test. And as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, and one missing cylinder out of this screw. This indicates, from this test, I would say that there's close to zero PSI in that one cylinder. We hooked up to number six injector as a reference, and we have a pulse sensor into the crankcase through the dipstick tube. And what we can see, the blue trace is number six injector firing, and the red trace is crankcase pressure. And obvious we're seeing extreme pressure coming out of number six cylinder entering into the crankcase. And if you want a low-tech way of checking that, pulling the oil filler when the engine is running will show you just how much pressure is there. There could be next to no vapor escaping here, but this is a pretty extreme case. The obvious question is, while it might be too late for this engine, what can be done to prevent this from happening to your vehicle? The first step that we always recommend is doing a checkup where we can actually test the injectors in vehicle to see if you have any that are overfueling. This is a specific test that we have developed that is not part of the OE software. We do have all the Dodge OE scan tools, but uh, through bench testing these injectors and measuring them electronically, we can tell if any are overfueling and can potentially cause this type of failure. If everything passed that test, then the next step is to install a 2 micron filtration system that will properly protect your system from further damage. Again, even as this customer had no idea anything was wrong until it was too late. Uh, the only telltale sign that we found is some black smoke on acceleration. Uh, again, black smoke out of a diesel is indicating a problem. And I know a lot of people think black smoke is a normal trait of a diesel, but it hasn't been that way for, uh, well, ever since electronics. So you're almost 20 years where it's not common for a diesel truck to smoke. And this is one of those cases. If you do see black smoke when you punch it, that could indicate that you may have a problem on a stock pickup truck. 
So good filtration is a, is a big factor to preventing this from happening and uh, getting a checkup or if you're unable to bring it in, getting your injectors bench tested somewhere will tell you if you're in danger of having a catastrophic engine failure as in this case. Thanks for watching.